I wanted to revisit C motion. Here's Lee just smashing balls. He's very unusual. Very few players do what he does, if any. So I marked his hands at address and then as he approaches impact. It goes from low to high. So he's looping his hands. Actually five inches higher with the handle at impact. Then he started at address. What that does is form this unusual path. It's the hand path. It's wide and then narrow and steep. It also has a linear component across. For instance, here it is compared to my swing at one time. In fact, it's the path of the average golfer versus the optimal path of Lee's swing. His swing is more leveraged. So can I do see motion and change the path? So let's compare. How did I do? In just a few swings, can I achieve his path? His patterns of motion get you to this impact position. It's optimal. It consists of a torso turn and a certain use of your hands and arms. Another way of looking at it is as the shaft is at 90 degrees, three times in the swing, horizontal to the ground, basically. Looks like this. Note the head, the stability, the shoulders rolling about the neck. If I compare that to Lee, you'll see similarities, except he goes out wider and pulls in. This would be the next thing that I would work on getting my hands closer to my shoulder at the top, getting my elbows more bent at the top of the backswing. Small details, but would allow me to match them even closer. He torso turns better than I do. Here's Lee himself showing you the arm motion. This combined with the torso turning gives you C motion. Watch carefully. It allows you to get the club into this perfect impact position. Note the red line and the green line. Using the tool as it was designed is critical. See how the hands are far forward and that the right arm still bent at the elbow and wrist. The head more stable than you could have imagined. Totally sustaining the line of tension and compression. Optimal compression, C motion, maximum leverage at any age, more on C motion to come.